Hello and welcome to Geek Girl and a Cup Reviews. I'm Lizzie and this is Shadow. This is a bit of an unprecedented thing for me. Two videos in a day. But that is because on the same day I got my glossy box, my bird box also came in. So this will be the review for June, July, July, July 2020 birch box. Um, if you've seen my previous video on glossy box, um, you already know what I'll what's going on with Shadow, but if you've not, don't worry about him and his patch of fur. He's very territorial and he had a fight with the neighbour's cat, or a cat that lives quite close to us. So that's why, unfortunately, he has a lot of bits of fur. He's alright, it's just don't show that to the camera, Shadow. Um, actually, he's missed some lots of fur. Um, I'm going to say he won the fight, but I don't actually. I will sit down. There's yeah, a good boy. So, as I say, this month's theme is fruity fruit i mean oranges and lemons i'd say fruity um it's a nice little they've gone back to the i mean they might have done it last month gone back to the little drawers um i sometimes use them as uh almost like a makeup uh chest of drawers so i'll have one that i'll have my lashes in and another will have my foundation or my mascara um if they've got a nice like pattern that I quite like, um, like the Anthropomorphy box a um, couple of months back and they did a nice, don't know if they did it or I got it as a one-off from my mum, nice like um, sleep constellation, um, I use those as the top because it's got a nice pattern, this will probably be more of a further down view and whoops, put that there, so it's fruit, fruit I can't speak now, fruity beauty and um, there's that uh, and it's got the next the sneak peek for next month which is either a highlighter or a bronzer now last time i had my beauty box uh birch box i i had mentioned that i didn't get an email to choose my free sample which is what did which didn't well i didn't get an email basically <laughs> try not to fall um so i kind of it came as it was this month again i just still didn't get the email but I got on the website before I think oh, when basically said oh you can choose your options so I did manage to pick my sample for this month I'm hoping I get an email or I can pick it again because out of the two we've got a bronzer and a highlighter as I again stated in my video previously I don't really do bronzing I'm quite a pale person and it doesn't look natural on me uh, so I'd rather go with the highlight and the bronzer, um, but that's just me. So hopefully, yeah, I don't have any moving in. Um, so that's, again, it, like the last video, it's how much things are, and it'll tell you what's next month. So that's that. And the first thing I'll get out is the thing that I actually picked myself, which is a Dr. Paul... What on a shadow? Uh, Dr. Paul Paul... Uh, multi-purpose soothing balm uh, with natural pawpaw now there is a bright pink version and this sort of mocha colour I have a load of these from either Birchbox or from Glossy Box or just samples and stuff a lot of them are the original I do have the bright pink one and I also have the red whoops, chuck it in myself red um, version and I wanted to try this because of the colour I like, sort of brownie nudes. I've not seen this before. Well, I'd seen it, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy it because sometimes too brown doesn't work with me. So I wanted to see how it goes, see what it's like. So that's that. The other thing I'm quite excited to try is... Again, I'll be linking these to uh, my previous video done on Glossy Box. Um, but I mentioned that I am a huge fan of watermelon. Um, I love watermelon. And I did see that this month's box will have the Watermelon Burst. What's it called? See, there you go. Watermelon Burst uh, Hydrating Primer, which I will, again, wanted to try um, because I said I love watermelon um, and it, it's quite nice. It looks quite a nice primer. I didn't want to pay... I don't know how much it's full size, I'll have a look in it in a minute. But I didn't want to pay full price for one that I'm not entirely sure if I like yet. Um, next up we have... Ooh, this is very useful for me. A Polar 
50 plus UV A and UV B sun protection, um, sun lotion, which I don't look quite now because I'm quite in the face, but I am quite pale. I burn very, very easily compared to my mother and my grandma who are somewhat tanned. Um, so I have to have quite high uh, SPF or I will burn to a crisp. Um, so that's always a good thing. I'll, uh, I can't wait to try that. Um, next up we have, ooh, a little bottle of shampoo. Little little thing of shampoo that might do be okay with me for me sorry because uh it levels up it might not be enough mind you um but this is nourishing shampoo with mango butter for mm, it says for dry hair that is quite bad because <laughs> i don't have dry hair i have quite greasy hair uh it has been washed it's just drying at the moment um but yeah might pass it along to somebody else um, but yeah, I say I have uh, greasy hair rather than dry hair, um, so that probably may not work for me, but oh well, um, might pass it on to me mum, I don't know what kind of hair she's got. And finally, ooh, this might be nice, yeah, come back, but right at the bottom we have Okay, so it's by Bre Bre yeah, Beauty Pro, can't speak, um, and it's Thermotherapy Warming Silver Foil Mask with Vitamin C and Green Tea. Uh, it's anti-aging, it's self-warming, energising, complex from foil mask to ensure intense moisture penetration. Um, that's interesting. Silver kind of mask thing. Um, that might be interesting to see how it goes. Not really too much a fan of self-warming. Um, but... That's just me. I mean, different people like different fire, um, different masks. But that's everything. And uh, what did I do with that piece of paper? Is shadow sitting on it? Hang on. Put that together. What did I do with that piece of paper? I had it a moment ago. Excuse me, whilst I try and find that thing. What did I do with it? Shadow's happy purring away now. Um, well, I've lost that piece of paper that I said what was in it, so can't show you the full sizes. Oh, it's about full on the floor. Shadow knocked it off. Um, hang on. Got it. Oh, the power of having a cat. So, oh, here we are. So. The full price of this, I see it's got both the brown, at, yeah, brownish and pink. I say I went with the brown. I've already got the pink. Is six pounds ninety five. Eh, you know, it's the full size is uh, twenty five mil. So you know, and it, it's sort of multi purpose, so you can use it more than one thing. So that's all right. The hydrating watermelon burst primer is £24 for the full of this. So again, it's one of these. I'd rather try the small first, uh, see if it works, if I like it, and then if I do, obviously go with the bigger. Uh, this is £20.20 20 for the full thing. I mean, on the one hand, it's you know, skincare and it's keeping you protected from the sun so that's okay but i'm sure you can get stuff from garnier or um yeah garnier or other places that will be le you know less than that uh even like korean or japanese brand you can get for cheaper than that i've ordered one uh which is a fluid uh mineral sort of sunscreen um so that would be interesting um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I'd pay £20 for the full one of this. Uh, it doesn't mention how much a full size is. Uh, but I say it's sens sens for sensitive and sunburnt prone skin, which is me. Um, so it might be nice to put it in my bag. And I just realised the, oh, the, the first writing's not in English. Um, well, it looks like French. 
Oh well. Uh, lotion helps fight against sunburn and premature aging. Visible form and apply generously before exposure. So if I'm going out, which I am at August time, um, I might just take it with me. It's a nice thing to put on and it will protect my skin from sunburn. This the full size is £5.95. Again, yeah, fine. So it's a face mask. You can get more, more expensive ones, you can get cheaper ones, you know. It is what it is. Um, so that's all right, I'm okay with that. And then the full size of this is £8. So it is supposed to nourish and protect hair shaft without weighing it down. Detangling formula helps improve softness and shine. Um, it's free from parabens. Well, I mean, if it helps your hair, then that's fine. You know, eight pounds. I'm sure it's like most things. You can find more expensive things. You can find cheaper things. If you find something that works for you and it's cheaper, that's fine. If you find something that's more expensive, um, works for you, that's fine. As well, if you can still afford it, go on, eat it. There's a good boy. Um, so that's that. Um, you see, I'll say it's just keep an eye on your inbox. But last two times, it has not come in saying, "Ta da! Pick your sample." Um, so, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with those. Um, I quite like the primer. I would say I wanted that anyway. The sunscreen, I can't wait to try because I say it'll keep my hair, uh, my skin all right. Might look into invest uh, ones that you can spray on your face um, as like a facial mist so that you can just keep topped up. And again, it's got SPF. There's certain ones that will do it. And... That'll be interesting to try. Um, the shampoo, I don't think specifically designed my hair, but it will be interesting to try. It might be worth a shot. So yeah, overall, quite happy with that. Out of the five, I like three of them. Kind of unsure about one of them. And one of them, you know, it's a mask. It's always nice to have a relaxing mask. I have a another box full of masks because I used to go on a website and I think it's Yes Style. And you used to get a free mask every time. Oh dear, you really are. I've been in the water cap. Um, a, few, a free mask after a certain amount. They might have changed it by now. <gasps> oh, pardon me. So yeah, it's a nice box. I say I like this sort of fruity theme. Watermelon's a fruit, yes. Hang on, I've just realised. Mango, pawpaw the fruit. I don't think the polar fluid has any fruit in Watermelon, I don't also think this has a fruit any either. Vitamin C and green tea. Green tea is a plant, but it's not a fruit. Um, and... Can't say there's any fruit in it. So, interesting that they've got some things that aren't to do with have fruit in, but, you know, three out of the five is all right. Um, so, yeah, that's my review of the July Birchbox. Thank you for watching, and tune in next time. Bye!